Um, and then if we go to the 28th, we have the sun in Gemini square Saturn in Pisces, six degrees, 52 minutes. So. Oh, look, already two out. Oh, there's the Ten of Pentacles, and we have that Six of Cups again. Um, So, Sun, Gemini, Square, Saturn, Pisces. Remember on 5-9, that was our Twitchy Tuesdays, and we talked about what are you doing with your time. This is how astrology is. It builds and builds and builds on each other. Um, I will also clip it if you are on YouTube after this is over, but we talked about... The 591, you can find a highlight on um, Twitch as well. But we talked about what you're doing with your time. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, Cavier, C. Shango. There was some thunder behind me. That was great. Um, this is a continuation of that conversation. So if you didn't get the first time that you needed to be working on your time, you needed to be working on what you're doing with your time. Um, the hanged man and the emperor. Okay. I love, we're going to put these like this. I'll tell you why in a second. So if you didn't get this the first time, it's going to be you as this square happens. It's another opportunity. It's another opportunity for you to pause, for you to observe, for you to look for you to get in, for you to understand, for you to take care, for you to do the things necessary within you to take advantage of these energies because it is going to be necessary as we go forward. And the other thing with this, again, we talk about perspective. Look at the hanged man is turned upside down. This is a fresh new perspective and that is thanks to the sun in Gemini. So if you didn't take the opportunity or if you haven't done some of that necessary work that you know you should be doing and you are ignoring, um, it is another opportunity to look at it in a fresh perspective. Because sometimes some of the things that happen, and I know this happens to me hands down, is I know it, but something just isn't clicking yet. There's something that still needs to happen. There's something that still needs to come in. So I sit on it. I hangman myself. I sit on it until I can find a different way to look at things, until I can find a different viewpoint. And then it's still there. It's it's still there. It hasn't gone anywhere, right? We've got ten, six cups. We've got 10 pentacles. It's there. It ain't going nowhere. But it's just not ready yet. It, it's just a moment got to think through things so that can bring this sun and gemini can bring those fre fresh perspectives and it's like oh that's why okay that's why i couldn't do that because i was waiting for this to fall into place um so if you have and this by the way even me myself i'm doing both of these there are things that i haven't actively started doing yet because i have been in this hanged man mode and there are things that I am taking, the emperor, I am taking these opportunities, I am doing things on. And so if you have been taking these opportunities about where you are spending your time, making those changes, standing in your power, um, this is a time where you start to see either the benefits coming out of that, because Saturn is our gift giver. Through hard work, we get the gifts that we need. So you could be seeing, um, you could be seeing some of that, or when we talk about this 10 of pentacles and this six of cups, we have multiple people in here, right? We talked about the, you know, the crone here are, there's two people here. There's a gentleman here, two dogs. Hey, those look kind of like my babies. Aw. Jemmy, Jemmy might make a little, oh, look, there she is. She's making a little appearance. She is freaked out right now about the thunder. She does not do well with the thunder. They kind of look like little greyhounds here, um, which are what my puppies are. So, oh, she's, she's shaking in her boots, the poor babies. Um, it's okay. You want to come under the desk? You want to come under the desk? Yeah? Okay. Um, so if you have been taking to this opportunity to grow, you actually could have 
support coming in within your community, within people that you know. Maybe it's a chance meeting of some sort. Maybe it is that crone energy. So think your elders, um, a, an opportunity, maybe an opportunity comes down or like this sun square Saturn. It's like, again, if you've been in that hanged man, maybe that sun in Gemini is like, oh, you know what? I should call my uncle, my great uncle. He's going to know the answer. Why didn't I think of that before? Right? So it, there could be support for the things that you are actively working on, that emperor energy that is going to be coming in. Um, and again, maybe you can be both here simultaneously. There is nothing that says you can't hold both inside or be going through both at the same time. That's very Gemini too, by the way. Um, you may also feel less stressed isn't that just funny how that always happens where here we are we're doing the work and we finally started taking um the action that we needed to the advice that we needed to we started to like work on our pentacles work on our cups work on the things that we needed to work on and now like yeah the first week really sucked when i changed and started waking up at 5 a.m but you know what it's been a month and it's fucking amazing. And I am so much less stressed. That's how simple it is, right? And you, this could really come into your awareness with this square. And already in this short time, like with just these few minor tweaks, this six of cups and this 10 of pentacles, these are the gifts. Again, and I know like some people is like Saturn, Taskmaster, you know, your boundaries, blah, blah, blah. It is through those things that Saturn rewards you. That's, this is where you get your gifts. Jupiter expands, makes anything bigger. Doesn't matter what spectrum that's on, it is bigger. Saturn is where your gifts truly do come from. Um, so the other thing that I heard, and I love that these are actually both indicating outside, right? Where this this emperor kind of looks like he's inside the castle. These two kind of signify more of an outside thing. There may, during the weekend, right? As we get into like Sunday, Monday, you may want to incorporate a little bit more movement, um, a little bit more like go out in the sunshine, getting the sun on your skin. Um, instead of just like sitting, um, and emperor, instead of sitting and like trying to figure it out, go outside. If you're stuck into something, go outside, allow, allow that sun, allow that sun in Gemini to really allow, like give you that fresh perspective, allow it to soak in. Sometimes it's okay to like take all of this and just put it, put it off to the side for a second, walk away. So that way you can recalibrate and then move forward. All right. The 29th, that would be Monday. Nada. That's it. That is that is it. Boom.